Hi guys, welcome to Empower In. My name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to go over the topic of sleep. Now, I know as nurses, our sleeping schedule can get extremely messed up because we can either work night shift or the 12 hour shifts are very long and we might have a lot of other responsibilities on top of our 12 hour shifts. We can also, due to how our day was, have a difficult time focusing on sleeping. Our minds may be like running over and over and uh, we might have difficulty sleeping. Um, whatever the case may be, um, I wanted to kind of tell you what I do about sleep and this works for me. The way I discovered it was I was working my first job three weeks of days and three weeks of nights because I begged my manager to not have me work straight nights because I would get depressed. That's what I, I that was my warning to her. If I work straight nights, I'm gonna get depressed. <laughs> so she offered a, um, a floating shift for me. And so I would do three weeks of days and three weeks of night. Now, especially during that first week of the change, I would have an incredibly terrible sleep schedule. There were multiple times that I had to start a 12 hour shift off of not one wink of sleep. And I used to get so stressed out about it. And then one day I was talking to my mom, who is the wisest woman I know, <laughs> one of them. And she said to me, she's like, Caroline, you know, just, don't worry about sleep. You know, my my mindset on sleep has always been, if I don't sleep one night, I'll sleep really good the next night. And that advice really stayed with me. My mom is a really successful person. She's had six children. I'm sure that left plenty of time for like sleepless nights. And she's also a really happy person and energetic and vital. Um, and she's a very youthful person. I really took that advice to heart and I, I did that. You know, there's still times when I literally don't get hardly any sleep, but then I just have the mindset, it's okay, I'll just sleep really good the next night. And I do feel like our body has the capacity to almost like, when we do get that sleep, to like almost double it so it's like twice as effective or maybe it just feels twice as effective. So it's kind of like it makes up for lost time. You know what I mean? The other thing that I do is I just, I stop reading articles on sleeping that say you have to get seven hours or eight hours of sleep a night. And I realize that there's a lot of people that need a lot less than that. There's some people that need more than that. And I think what could very well be is that at certain times your body may need more sleep and certain times your body may need less sleep. And that could very well be the case. Me personally, there's nights when I'll get four or five hours of sleep, multiple nights in a row, and then... I'll get really tired and then I'll crash one night and get seven or eight hours of sleep. And that's pretty much been my norm for like the last year or so, or maybe longer than that, maybe like two or three years. So I'll have like multiple nights where I get like almost no sleep and then nights when I catch up. And what I've noticed though is that what gives me the most powerful and relaxing sleep is knowing that everything's done before I went to bed. So for me, it's more important to like finish everything that I know needs to be done than it is to actually sleep. Because if I don't finish everything, then for some reason my sleeping isn't as soundful or relaxed and I wake up in this like frenzy. And so um, yeah, that's, that's what's been helping me. So a while ago, I read an article that said that it was more important to not take anything for sleep as far as medications. And it's better for you to just get less sleep than it would be to take the medications for sleep. So I don't take anything for sleep. I still sometimes get four hours, five hours, and then that night that I crash and I get seven to eight hours always feels really good. And that's pretty much been my norm for a while. It probably will keep going unless, I don't know, something changes. But I wanted to just tell you that so that you don't get so stressed out about it, you know? like. A lot of people are like, oh my gosh, I'm not getting seven hours, I'm not getting eight hours, I'm not getting six hours, or, you know, they just, they, they think about it continuously, and then a lot of times their solution is to get a medication or something that's going to help them do that when they think that it'll make them feel a certain way. And in my experience, and my mom who's healthy and happy, her experience, sleep hasn't really been much of an issue. And I think as research comes out more and more, I think a lot of people are saying that the seven, eight hours that was the norm 
it's not really the norm. It really just depends on you. There's people that sometimes get four hours of sleep and there's people, like I mentioned before, that need more. So I hope that this helps you just like relax about the whole sleep issue and not be so stressed out about it like I was. <laughs> so I hope this message helps you out. I hope you enjoyed this Motivation Monday. Next week, I'm going to talk about accepting things that you cannot change uh, gracefully. <laughs> So stay tuned for that, and I can't wait to see you next week. I love you guys so much. Bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time for the weekly nursing free huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must-read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the dean's list. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.